okay now let's look at one more random variable that is discrete uniform random variable so uniform random variables are useful in any context where there is an assumption that all the outcomes in a certain range and equally likely we can think of an experiment where we are rolling a die what will be the outcome of that experiment the outcome of that experiment will be 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 if you look at this outcome outcome is in a certain range all the elements are in between 1 to 6 and from our probability law assumption that all these outcomes are equally likely let's suppose we have a random variable associated with this experiment that is x so what this random variable is doing so you perform an experiment and you got let's suppose on rolling a die you got one as an outcome so this will go as a input to this random variable and it will directly see that what's the outcome it is one so it will directly map to one right so in mapping there is no change whatever this random variables see or takes input that will get mapped to same right let's suppose you perform the experiment you roll the die and you got the three random variable will take this input or take this outcome as an input and it will map to three similarly for four similarly for five and six now this random variable is a uniform random variable why we are calling it as a uniform random variable let's have a look at that now if i ask you that for this particular situation for this particular problem that what will be the probability that random variable will take the value one so this particular event corresponds to getting one as an outcome so you perform the experiment and you got the outcome as one so there is only one favorable out of six so that is why this probability will be one so probability that random variable will take the value one is one now similarly what's the probability if if i ask you that what will the probability that random variable will take this value two so this event corresponds to occurrence of two on rolling a die right and it has the probability one by six similarly if you find the probability of this three four five six all will have the equal probability all will be equally likely that is why we have called this random variable as a uniform random variable now let's generalize this so you will have the sample space and sample space will be in certain range let's say from a to b right and also let's assume since we are going through this discrete random variable all these will be in integer so and uh, b will be greater than a so a and so as we have seen in our example that this will be in a certain range so sample space will be on in a certain range then if i ask you that if how many elements will be there in a sample space so number of elements will be b minus a plus one so this number of elements will be there in a sample space you can think of our example where we, we, we where we were rolling a die so b were six a was five plus one that will give you sorry a is one and this will is so that will give you six so obviously uh, if you roll a die and how many possible outcome will be there six right so then uh, in general if we have a sample space that is in a range from a to b then this number of elements will be there in a sample space now coming to our random variable x so this random variable maps your outcome to a real number right and this mapping if you see whatever you have got as an outcome that is directly getting mapped 
to your real number as we have seen our example right and if you observe so we will have random variable x and this random variable x will take the value from a to b right so a a plus 1 and b right so if you observe these two parameters or these two a or value will define the probability distribution of this discrete uniform random variable how if we know a and b then we know how many number of elements will be there in a sample space and if we know how many elements will be there in a sample space and with the assumption that all the elements are equally likely then we will have the information about the probability that random variable will take so if i ask you that what will be the probability that random variable will take this value a what will be the probability so how many total number of elements that we have in our sample space that is b minus a plus 1 right and since all these are elements equally likely so that will the probability of taking the random variable value a will be this right so if we ha if we have to draw the pmf of this particular ran uniform random variable so that will be uniform right every probability that a random variable x will take the value a or another element a plus 1 or maybe a plus 2 and so on b and what will be the probability the probability will be 1 divided by b minus a plus 1 i think it should be clear so all those points i have already written right so for uniform random variable these are the two parameters that will define the complete uh, distribution and uh, we model such kind of experiment to uniform random variable where all these elements that is uh, in our sample space will be equally likely right so an experiment that we are performing is that picking any of one that from the sample space and this uh, this will be the sample space that will be in a certain range and the random variable will be mapping the outcome of an experiment to whatever we have got as an outcome 